looks like someone's about to paint. Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we've got, we're gonna do a dab painting. We've got some light gray, dark blue, dark gray, and silver. I think that these colors go really well together, so I'm hoping that this painting actually turned out good. Uh, we're gonna be using some plastic here. Um, this plastic from one of the things that the canvas came in. So you could use plastic, you could use uh, even a garbage bag, like a plastic bag, like a Walmart or, you know, supermarket bag. Um, but I mean, that's pretty much it. And I, I was thinking about calling these paintings fractal paintings because they kind of look like fractals afterwards, like with little starbursts. Um, so I may actually start calling them that because I think it sounds cool and it kind of embodies what I'm trying to do here. Anyway, I've got my paints already stirred. So let's go ahead and get right into the painting. So we're gonna make a couple of little pools of the color. We're gonna do four pools and see if that's enough. So we've got our, our gray on there. Let's go ahead and put some blue on there. All right, and now we'll go ahead and get our dark gray on there. And dark gray up here. All right. And I think maybe I'll do the silver right there. And then lastly, we've got our silver. So we're gonna go ahead and put our silver on there. Like right there and there. And the silver is probably gonna look almost like white, but that's okay. All right, now we're gonna take our plastic and fold it up so we've got some ridges here. We'll start with our lightest color. So we're gonna kind of pull out some of this, this gray first, or the silver, and we're gonna kind of just pull it out a little bit into some of these other areas. All right, cool. So now we'll kind of move into our this gray right here. We're gonna pull some of this gray out. just going to do that with all these pockets. And we want to start pulling out those pools of color to some of these other areas. So like these big puddles, we want to try to mix some of those in so they're not so prevalent. And you'll almost always lose the lightest color in doing this. So we kind of want to keep our, our little pools of the, of the silver because that's our lightest color. So it's easy for it to get swallowed up with the other colors. So we'll just kind of pull some of that. And we're going to pull some of these thicker areas into the areas with almost no paint to even them out. There's actually a lot of light uh, paint in this area, so I'm going to take some of it and try to redistribute it over here, kind of lighten it a little bit.
All right, so now I'm gonna take a look at this just to make sure that all of the uh, gaps have been covered. Okay, and now we're done. So, I'll push this back so that it's level. Okay, so now we're done. I'll go ahead and take my glove off so you guys can see the final piece. And i stand back, take a photo. So this is the final piece. So we kind of get low so you can see a little bit of that. Got a, good, a lot of good coverage here with the, uh, the little fractals, the waves, the dots. I like that the silver is a different type of paint. It's uh, the PPG metallics, but it does still blend in really well with the other paints. Um, it's gonna dry. A little more matte than the gloss of the rest of the painting but i mean it is what it is it's still gonna look pretty good once it's done uh but that's it for the painting i think it turned out pretty good um and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section if you like the video please let me know if you did that's okay you can let me know that too and uh that's pretty much it so i'll see you guys in the next one take care god bless and stay safe bye guys